right, YouTube, this is Tom. Ross, two more practice. Not for you, you know, for the scare videos. I'm going to post it in the Thunder and Thunder one time. We're down here on the CMO Canal. And uh, we're going to discuss uh, if you have to bug out different methods, different ways to get from, from uh, city to city. Uh, people down in D.C. The Ceno Canal runs how far, Russ? It runs from Cumberland to Washington, D.C., and then you got the Great Allegheny uh, Trail from uh, Cumberland to Pittsburgh. Yeah, from, from Washington, D.C. to Cumberland, 185 miles. And then from uh, the Allegheny Trail plus the canal, it's all together 300 miles. All together, 300 miles. Now, if you're, if you're living in the uh, Washington area, Baltimore, Frederick, Hagerstown, and you had to bug out, Everybody, everybody, for some reason, when they bug out, they think about running to the mountains. Uh, Western Maryland is where the mountains are, and that's, that's where people are going to go. We're going to see the city. We're going to head up our way here in Western Maryland. And if that would happen, what a perfect access to get to Western Maryland on this canal. On the canal, yeah. Because believe me, the highways are going to be gridlocked. This is a real shitty defense situation. He so, uh, the best way would be on the easy walk and it's almost like the whole flat ground all the way down. And you got all the water you need, I call and I'll show you the water spots where you can get water, you know, all, all the way down to the canal. Yeah, every so many miles they have those old uh, hand pumps, uh, the little camping area. Uh, I would recommend that, that you were bugging out. Uh, I would use the water, but I don't think I'd camp in the area. Yeah, because I'll, I'll, marauders. Because yeah. you ain't gonna be the only one on the towpath. Well, you know, yeah, we said to be get off the side of, when you're stopping for the night, get off the side somewhere where you can get into the woods and get out of the way of people where there's no one. That's just like right here where we're at. We're we're right on the CNO Canal Path. Right here's part of the old canal. Yeah. And right up there is Route 51. If I, was, if I had hiked this far and wanted to make camp, there's, there's actually a little camping area here. But I wouldn't use it. I'd cross the highway right there. Yeah. I'd go up yeah. in the hall out there and stay off of this. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you, it's just going to be marauders. You know, it's, it's just like it's going to be anywhere else. It's straight up in there. I did go there. You can see over yeah. here and watch the people coming in. So you got, you got water, tons of places. And if you're in between water and you know, this water compromise, you got the river. You can always go it as a last, last resort, the Potomac River. I would. I would. Oh, yeah. As long as I can boil. Water, right. Especially here in this area, we have uh, the Cumberland Water Sewage. Tom and I noticed the, the water pump here. It's actually this water sewage is iodine. Yeah. Right down here. And I don't know if it all is, 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 is or not, but I had used the pump one time. as a backup as a way to get out of it. Like coming down here on a bike? Are you guys how much time you'd make going down through here? If I live D C Frederick, any any of those communities down there and I was preparing that maybe someday I'd have to bug out, this would be my route and I would have to bug. 
stuff with me. I'd have it with my wife. I'd have my stuff all the time. You know, and then your 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 biggest problem is getting from your house to wherever your nearest location is. But it's the canal we go to go Head to the mountains. They're all coming this way. Yeah, and they're going to be using the highways. And if they got me. Yeah. Well, even if they're walking, a lot of them are going to get off the highway. Right. Well, people don't know. Well, a lot of people don't realize this. How and then, right. And then people, some people don't know how to use maps. <coughs> so they, they, they may know how to go on the road. Right. So they can walk the highway, which I wouldn't want to be on the road. And actually, I looked up and you can get trail maps and show you every place you can get off, uh, yeah. places for water. A little town where you can go in and get food and restaurants. You know, that's a, a normal situation. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have that in case you would have to bug out there right. and you know everywhere you're at. Where all the locks are, the water, uh, the drink, all that. It's a little camp area. So I think we're going to move our cameras down here. I'll show you guys what one of those pumps are like. Maybe uh, show you the river and the camping area. I'm going to pause my camera. We're going to shut here. Yeah, I'm going to shut mine off. So hang in there, people. Should have got some shots that tree. Poor Tom and I talk about the water, and we'll show you this tree here. I really like it. We should have got it in the background, but it was behind the side of it. Bird is a big old bird. I don't know what that was. A hawk? Huh? It's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. that tree, Ross. I got a bug of mine. I just like the looks of it. It's pretty cool. It's big old bird. And that, uh, that's stuff on it. I wonder if it's edible. What? Yeah, He's already filming over there. Yeah, the fresh water rock. Here's the uh, sign on it. See, it says it's got iodine in it for uh, to disinfect. So, if you're allergic to iodine, you might want to want to drink this. But uh, there you go. So, me and Tom's gonna pump some water here. So, let's put this camera back here. And along this canal, they got these in various locations. Uh, like Ruff is saying, you can get maps to show you exactly where they're at. So, if you're traveling by this. This way here, water's going to be leaking the problem. Oh yeah, it's going to be a of water. Crank her up there, Rusty. You ready, Tom? Oh, let her rip. It's pretty cool. I didn't taste it, I was smelling it. Is that bad? <laughs> Tastes like iodine water. <laughs> that. It's just like you treated it with iodine. <laughs> so it's got some in her. All right. So you got these. I like I said. I don't know how far apart. I know there's another one. Probably a mile that way. Now, yeah. I don't know if that's a rule. Maybe they have them every mile. I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it's every mile. All right. Let's uh, shut down. Go down there to the river. Show them well, the campground. Bring some of the other. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to film you going down. Alright, sounds cool. I have nothing better to and I'll just walk down and then we'll get some... Walk down, bro. With I my camera video. running. I don't videotape you, bro. People coming in that canal already down here. It's a nice place. Actually, I've camped down here several times and it is really nice. Alright, we're coming up here. Oh, it's just pay camping and free fee here. So you got to pay to camp. There's the signs. You can see here, we're in Spring Gap, uh, Maryland. I'm trying to see what the, oh, the camping fees are $10 a night, group site $20 per night. When I was down there before, I don't think there was any charge at all. There's where you pay your fee. See, it's really beautiful down here. Nice camping area. Here comes Tom. <laughs> beautiful flowers. Can you see the river rush? 
Yeah, we'll see you here in a minute. I got some view of you, yeah. You still feel, oh, you're not filming, are you? You know, it costs you to camp down here now. Look at our geese, Tommy. Oh, shit. Get them on video. Yeah, I'm going to walk up here and get them. Oh, yeah. That's dinner right there, Rob. Oh, yeah. There you go. Shit at the fan. You got oh, food. Yeah. Look at that. That is cool. Plus, the fish can catch out of the river. They ain't even scared of us. No. I imagine people feed them. I would imagine. No. Mama, Papa, and Baby. They're going to hit the river. There they are. You're bugging out, people. Yep. Easy catch, too. You go to the water, and you have dinner. And there's Papa. He's like, how can I get to the water? Yeah, the river's a little swollen today from the rain we've had. We've had a lot of rain here the last couple of weeks. It's very nice down here, but like oh, I said, nice. <coughs> shit at the fan situation, this place would be filled up probably. That's the thing, and, and like I said, then you always got to worry about your marauder. Right. There comes people rolling in with the fences for the weekend. Yeah, I didn't know. It didn't used to cost anything to camp down no, here. I always thought it was free. Yeah, it used to be. Now it's $10 for uh, individual camp sites and 20 for uh, group sites. So in a bug out situation? Yeah, it's, it's free. free. <laughs> Definitely free. Look at Pop the Duck, let's get him. Yeah, Pop catching up to the babies. Russ is going to videotape. I'm going to videotape Russ. <laughs> videotape Russ uh, getting the geese. <laughs> and I'll get Tom videotaping me. There we go. Well, let's stay in there. I'm going to end mine. Are you done videotaping? Oh, uh, I'm going to videotape just a little bit. There's some bikers up there. Yeah, I might do a little bit of your tape in just a few seconds here in the river and stuff, and then I'll be done. That is pretty up here, I'm telling you. Some big trees here, too. Okay, anything else you want to say, Tom? We'll no, turn this no, around there and get us. I'm not sure where I'm at on there, yet. I still got that bug of my eye. <laughs> part of nature, Tom, but part of nature. So remember, if you got a bug out, plan ahead, find something like this. Uh, you'd rather know about it now than later. Well, just like uh, Tommy, even if you're in big, big cities and there's big parks there, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. You can get in that park and probably hide in the woods if you really needed to, well, to see, get away from people. That's what's so great about this area is Western Maryland has so much state game like it. Right. I mean, you could get up, if you if you flee Baltimore and came up here and you had a map, you get up in one of those areas, no one finds it. Right, yep. I mean, sure. I mean, I hunted a lot of it over the years, and, uh, but I guess it would be better than trying to survive in the city. Well, just like you get up where I'm at, I mean, you can take a tip path up to where I live, and you get up on the mountain or, or Nobby or whatever, there's nobody up in there. You get that whole place to yourself. Yeah, that you do. And there's a lot of wildlife up there. A lot. All right, Facebook, I'm going to at least shut down my camera uh, to come up anything more exciting that's going to be on two more preppers' channels. So this is Tom and Russ on the Cumberland Prepper One channel signing off. That's right. And remember, don't be scared, be prepared. And if you're not prepared, you will be scared. That's for sure. Can we walk over and get some okay. so We didn't know without knowing where we were standing. I hope about it. I'll stand up there and see. I don't even know. Oh, I was standing right here. So. That's just where I was. Man, I might cut off part of your head. Oh, that's all right. I got a big head. No matter. They've got some dark skies here, Tom. This might rain on us or thunderstorm. Kind of one, it's like 10% chance, but it looks like it's going to do it, brother. Well, I've seen it at that point. Oh, that's what it was.
Oh, I was watching it this morning, just before I went to bed. So. Just this morning, but I tell you what, several times today, I thought that was it. I thought, here it comes. So yeah. It got really dark. Then it goes over us. Fucking geese shit everywhere. You won't be saying that when you're down here trying to find something to eat. <laughs> well, I ain't eating geese shit. That would be eating what's putting it there. Very nice. I like it down here. All right, I guess that's about it. Unless we're going to get walking the tow a couple hours, but I don't think we're doing that. All right, guys. Later.